There's this cathedral square. There's a square. There's the cathedral. Here's some very important Lithuanian dude. And after being in Europe for like a month and a half, a month and a week, I've grown to appreciate squares. They're quite nice. At first I thought they were kind of like pointless. Why would you put a giant square? But they're really nice. It's like flat, paved ground. That red flag is interesting. There's a guy on a horse. It's a knight. Presumably, it's that guy. But that flag is everywhere. It's probably like the ancestral flag of this country. But this is the only country I've seen to like actively put it on all these things. Yeah, so I guess the front cathedral is here. It's really big. It's really nicely paved. Um, one of the plaques on the side of the cathedral said that when the cathedral was re, uh, reconsecrated in 89, people couldn't all fit in the church to listen to mass, so they filled up the square. This looks like a Roman Greek. <laughs> Here's the bell tower. I better climb up the tower. I've learned my lesson. One tower per city. One to the other tower. Cool square. There are lots of positive things about Lithuania. I've only been here for two hours. I'm not crashing anybody. I actually don't know what that flag is. It looks like the Latvian flag, but the Latvian flag is in train. There is a church flag, it's a Lithuanian church flag. You know, this reminds me of a day in San Francisco. I think it's like 60 something degrees. The winds are strong. What other positive things can I say about this country? Oh yeah, in the baggage claim area there are free SIM cards. There's like barely any money on it though, so they top it up, but that's an A+. Plus. It's also not very crowded. I think this place has less people than Poznan. Or well, maybe it's bigger than Poznan. If they're the same amount of people, it's more spread out, so it seems like there's less people. Very green. There are trees everywhere. And you know, not many things are open at 8 p.m. So we're gonna head to a park. Oh, what a surprise, a park. And we're gonna check out what Lithuanian parks have to offer. Better than Polish parks. Oh, by the way, this building behind the cathedral, the night flag, that's the um, the castle. It's a museum. 
open, so you can actually go inside, but it's closed, man. I'm not going tomorrow. But that would explain why that flag on top. You know, it must be the, like, you know, medieval age flag of this dude.